Hey, what's up YouTube? You're on Mikey's Hot Rods YouTube channel. Uh, this is going to be my first video, so bear with me if it's a little awkward. Um, just going to kind of talk about what's going on on the channel. Um, you're going to see some burnouts, some cars, some racing, some builds. Um, going to do all kinds of stuff. This year behind me is a 68 Fairlane I just did over the winter here. And then uh, did quite a bit of working on this Trans Am too. And uh, they both get drove pretty good, so. We'll be seeing what happens with that. Um, there's more parts coming for each of them. I mean, it's going to keep going as we go. So. Got the lift in here now. That's making life a lot easier. Got a transmission coming for this fair lane again. Transmission Depot sending me a new one. They're stage two AOD. So that'll be going in here within probably the next week. Um, yeah, I can show you the car here. Okay, what we have here is a 1968 Ford Fairlane. Smith Go Orange, a little paint I mixed up from work. All the interiors out of a 78 Fairmont. Well, the seats anyway, the rest of it's out of a Fairlane, obviously. Missing a piece of trim on the trunk there yet, I gotta come up with. Had to put quarters down this side. Well, half quarters. It's from about right here all the way down. Then they split here and then come back and then goes down. So that's all been cut out and replaced. I did all this in my little garage here. New carpet, Sparco pedals. I did the tack, made that myself. The gauges in the dash there. Yeah, it was a pretty fun little build. Did this all over the winter. Got about six months in it and close to 800 hours in the car. All stainless exhaust from the headers back, Magna Flow, Magna Pax, X Pipe. All oh, suspension stuff's new. It's got 07 Mustang brakes on it, disc brakes all the way around. With Nitto NT555 GS's on it. It's a blueprint uh, 306, aluminum heads, uh, blueprints cam, Victor Jr. single plane with a quick fuel Slayer carb on it, 600 CFM, it's HEI, aluminum radiator, and I did all the aluminum tubing for the coolant hoses and heater core lines. Motor's right around 400 horse, give or take. But it's a pretty fun little car, big car. It's also got the 8.8 .8 in the back with the disc brakes now. It was originally an 8 inch car. So now it's got the 8.8 .8 with 373s and a locker out of an Explorer. And it's got aluminum drive shaft. And that AOD four speed automatic. 
So yeah, it's something ain't quite right with it yet. It shifts pretty lazy in a second and just ain't happy. So I'm gonna get another one coming here and see what it does. And then I got my 96 Trans Am WS6. This has got GMMG exhaust and a 410, still a 10 bolt car, but all tubular, everything underneath. Um, Tony shocks, Ibox springs. It's been lightened up quite a bit. Got the drag radials on there that are about had now. They're pretty well shot. I'll be getting some of them coming here. I also did drilled and slotted LS brakes on it because this is actually an LT1 car. But six speed, it's got a Ram stage two clutch in it. And touch screen, full stereo, no back seat. All the inside's been lizard skinned and sound deadened. And then this is a 383 LT1. It's got LE2 heads on it, LE2 intake, fully ported. LE2 cam in it, custom grind cam. This motor's making right over 500 horse. There's some stuff I gotta do to this too. It's got a little cutting out problem at high RPM, so I'm gonna try some more things, trying to get it figured out, so that'll probably be on channel too. So, yeah, I mean, that's the kind of stuff we're gonna end up seeing on here, is just building on these. Um, yeah, whatever, I guess anytime I'm out here anymore, I'm gonna, gonna start taping it, so. If there's anything else you guys wanna see on here, comment and let me know, and see what we can do.